which finding most clearly indicates anaphylaxis over a mild allergic reaction. Would it be A, a localized rash, B, hypertension, C, airway swelling, or D, itchy eyes? Now, if there's one thing I want you to always remember, it's that anaphylaxis deals with two or more body systems. So if we state that, hey, the patient has a localized rash from an allergen, we know that that's a mild reaction. If you're an AEMT or a paramedic, you could treat that with Benadryl. This also occurs with itchy eyes. Itchy eyes and localized rash, those are kind of like on the same playing field when we talk about a mild reaction. Now, once we start including something like bronchospasming or bronchoconstriction, this now becomes a moderate form of anaphylaxis. And this patient now requires some sort of beta-2 agonist or something that's going to open the bronchioles. This is one we're going to start considering albuterol and atrovent and epinephrine and things of that sort. Now, there's a couple things that could make it severe anaphylaxis, and that would include airway swelling and or vasodilation. Remember, anaphylaxis is something that we consider a distributive shock. And if you know anything about distributive shock, you know that it distributes vasodilation throughout the entire body. By doing so, this would cause hypotension, lower blood pressures, not hypertension. Now, if we look at this, it states what most clearly indicates anaphylaxis over a mild allergic reaction, it would be airway swelling, which would make it a severe anaphylaxis. The answer is C. On these patients, Early epinephrine is mandatory. We're also going to be treating them with other beta-2 agonists, corticosteroids. Make sure you get fluids. And don't forget that you can still give epinephrine IV through an infusion or even epi 1 in 100,000.